Greetings, my name is Bill Molden, and I'm excited to announce a new endeavor we're taking in the singles ministry here in Chicago. It's entitled Single Shift, Q Music. But it's more than a ministry that we're trying to build here. We're actually trying to build a lifestyle. A lifestyle that's been moved, that's been changed by one single event. And that's our decision to follow Jesus. I think about a comic that I deeply love. It, it pictures Peter uh, going to uh, a, a business and the, the caption says, Here's your order, sir. A thousand business cards saying Simon the Fisherman. The next clip shows Simon with Jesus. And he says, Simon, from now on, you shall be called Peter. And I think about the salty look on Simon's face as he thinks about the business cards that were just made. But the shift, that shift, that moment, should change everything. And yet, in our spiritual walk, we often find ourselves kind of kind of stuck in places, as though we're in park. We may have started a great endeavor, we may have, with good-hearted intentions, stepped out on faith only to find ourselves stuck and wondering why our lives aren't going anywhere. A shift is needed, but not a shift to a neutral position where we're just kind of letting things push us. We're, we're waiting for something, some sort of force, some sort of something external in this world to kind of get us going. We're, we're not stuck, but we're only in neutral. We, we need a shift. Of course, there is that opportunity that we all have to go backwards and to slide back into patterns of destruction and a lifestyle that we're not proud of. Uh, that would be a shift in reverse. Although sometimes we do need to take some steps back in order to make a better decision for the future. I'm talking about the moments where we just slide back into old habits that Jesus wanted to save us from. We need a shift. The gear that we most often spend our time in, though, is drive. Where we're going forward, we're even maybe accelerating, but we're moving under our own power and our own effort. True, we're fueled by spiritual things, we're fueled by spiritual stimulus, but truth be told, we burn out way too fast. We get discouraged and dissuaded way too easily. And you start to wonder why. I think it's because we're relying on ourselves. And so in 2017, we are seeking to strive to build something that will shift into another gear. One that's more cross-centered. One that is more directed in everything we do in our relationships with one another, in our relationships at our job, in our, in our purpose and our function in the body of Christ. We're looking to make a shift, not to be a great ministry, but to be great followers of Jesus. Being great disciples of what he calls us to, shifting into a cross shape lifestyle and it's going to take some change it's going to take some shifting we're going to need to set our eyes on christ in ways that we've never done before but together pointing one another to jesus discipling each other to jesus modeling for each other a cross-shaped reliance i think we'll see the ministry go in places we've never seen it go before so won't you join us? It's going to be a shift, but it's only one shift, a single shift, into a glorious fellowship of Jesus.